Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Got it right this time. Uh, let's go. Freaking, I'm just gonna... Maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Mm hmm I'm just super mega excited. Uh, to learn more about how much I'm gonna be angry at silence. <laughs> Unfortunately, still haven't played the DLC, which I did check. Apparently, the DLC is like Should freaking. Should be able to jump back Oops. and reach those ropes behind me. Um, is like eight hours long. So what? I assume I can go down there and look around at stuff later. Um, but no, hopefully, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this stuff is moving. Hopefully... I don't know what I was saying. It's fine. Oh, I can bring it over to me. There we go. I know DLCs aren't necessarily like the mo- like, you don't need them to play the no. game. How to cross over um, to the spire. But should be oh, able to get up that. there now. Um, but it is nice, and I really like having DLC information. That I'm just gonna helping me when he gave me his lens. No, he's a, he's a dick. Like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. He did want to stop Hades. <sighs> Why would he do that? Because he wants he knowledge at the expense of anything. I can track him down. He wants knowledge at the expense. The transmission note at the top will tell me if I can get, freaking get up there. Um. Huh. Looks like this panel's a jar. Hmm. Inside. Uh. I just keep pressing, <coughs> keep pressing the wrong buttons. <sighs> love, love this for me. These loading screens are fast. I thought they were going to take longer. Um, it being, you know, kind of PS5 optimized game. On a, um... Oh, okay. On a PS4. Like, I don't know. The first time I played, I actually didn't mind... I didn't mind Silence that much. Like, I... You know, I was like, he's gruff, but... Okay, um... You know... Doing, he's helping me out. But the second time I played, I was a little less forgiving. Oh, it's already done? Oh. Like, he really only says, like, two nice things to you. It looks like he tricked me. It transmitted something through the spire. Did he he wants, Hades? He wants knowledge at any cost. I know it? that. Well, if I can figure out where he sent it. I can track him down. And we know at the top will tell me at the looks like this panel's a jar. And can I go up through the inside? At the end of the last game, he does pick up Hades in like a little transmitter thing. An elevator? He, Let's see. He doesn't want I think he didn't want Hades to destroy the world, but he wants to use Hades. But Simon doesn't want it because he, because he's a nice guy. He just wanted to be able to explore and learn. Engaging maintenance configuration. Whereas Aloy wants to save people, Silence is just after it for his own. Oh my gosh, we're opening this fire. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Why is it opening? Why does it have physical access? It was just supposed to be for Gaia, I thought. What are we doing? We have no idea. West. Hmm, forbidden West. Well, Aloy, I see you finally figured it out. 
To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You wrecked the lads to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be mm. extracted. Mm -hmm. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why not obtain one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Neloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West? He's such a and dick. All that I've discovered. He needs me. Oh, I'll go find you. Yes. Well, and the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. He's so manipulative. And he's a dick. Also, apparently we weren't far west. I thought we were. We were just in a different area of where we were before. Now we get to go west. change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. The tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh. And they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant mm. right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, <laughs> look, he gave her. It's good to see you. You left in that such look haste. She gave him. We never funny. had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Avad, this is all very See? kind, but I... Who's it? Vinasha. Quick. Yeah! I'll hand them over before she runs off again. Really? <laughs> Must you? I like Vinasha, but I think her and Uthid are a thing. Which I think is very cute. Try it on. Beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. It is really cool. The spear looks nice too. He's just gonna walk away now? He's just gonna go? He's here on Perhaps a formal like thing. To spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Or he's gotten over me, which is fair. I need to attach the master uh, override to my new spear. Yeah. Should be a workbench around here I can use. No, please don't make me do stuff like that. No. Savior, the orb remains untouched, as per Blameless Marad's instructions. Very good. Eh? I'm trying to listen to two different conversations. 
You okay with your hands thing? The sculptor wanted something even bigger. That's... Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was Put your arms quite down. certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm I hope sorry, she hits him in the arm. Vod. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Oh. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noth territory. By the sun, that's a Noth? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Oh, back to this. Nice. Oh, just awkwardly. Oh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Usually they just kind of stand there. You know what when I mean? You say oh, that's years funny. of hostility. I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, uh, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asuram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front of barren light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. Um, usually everybody just like stands there like staring at each other, just kind of like waiting. But like, it's like, this is like that awkward like you don't know what to say, and just kind of like looking around, like smiling and like nodding at each other thing. Oh my gosh, that's so How funny. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. From what little I know, they don't. Uh, they're a pretty warlike tribe, I think. Like, striving, you know, the best of the best what type thing. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special. Because of the guest. Oh, you. Our delegation you. will meet the Tanakh just outside. <laughs> we'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. For Shav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. For Shav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. I'm surprised he's alive. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. He's brainwashed. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Brainwashing. Well, I'll know soon enough. Or he's actually. If you see him before I do. A dick. Tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him. I'm not I gonna will. send you back, a potential sleeper agent. Edmund looks happy. Well, you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Oh boy. Look Marad at that, keeps look at that face. throwing noble matches at me. <laughs> but I find I'm always... Trying to make them into someone they're not. At oh my gosh, she's actually I never reacting. To the throne, she's and reacting. I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free Interesting. 
I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's actually freaking adorable. And that's actually not a bad idea. If that's what, he hold, if that's what he's holding out for, not a bad idea. I, he's thought this through. I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. Oh my. There's something I must ask you. Oh my gosh. Since oh my left, gosh. I thought of little else. This isn't really oh the my time. Gosh. But it has to be. The way you mm. left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know, when your mission is over, will you return to Meridian and stay but long enough for us to oh, I don't know. spend time oh, to my gosh. <laughs> get to know each other properly, perhaps? Is it getting hot in here? Is it just me? Oh, my. <sighs> okay. Mm. Are you kidding? Now's not the time. Aloy will express compassion. Or give voice to her deepest conviction. It's a nice. See, I was like, I, I kind of don't want them to leave this in my hands, but also, like, I knew they probably would. But let's see what Aloy has to say. I don't know, because I don't, I don't think anything would come of it, especially because he's a king, and she's not, and she's one who's never gonna settle down. Like, she'll be traveling forever. Let's see how this goes. I do hope to see Meridian again. I thought. And you. This mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after? I can't imagine that. I, I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. I Down love that she's mission. actually like, I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. He does have a way with words. I'm not gonna lie. Farl's my favorite, but who couldn't help but be swayed a little bit by such a, an intelligent, kind prince. King? King. Not even a prince. He's a king. <laughs> Like for bits. For bits. Let's see. Can we? No. Eat some it. Dowager Queen Masadi. Blessed champion. Eat some What do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, <laughs> Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh, I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, Champion, and we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! <laughs> what a cute kid. Honestly. Ah, mm. Little Itterman. Such an adorable scamp. Oh. He's turning into a fine young man, except he... Did I? I can bump them? Gosh, you can bump them from different sides and they'll react. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know it's not a big deal, but it is. It actually really is like a technological marvel. Um, where's Owen? I know I find him out in the middle of nowhere. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. They still, they still haven't fixed this this part up. Jeez. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those 
those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. She sounds like she's getting out some anger. Where's more friends? Can I... Yelling. I probably can't leave the alight. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. It's not as ostentatious as it could be. <laughs> Part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just a piece of scrap now. It was huge. It took forever. Where's my tripcaster? While I'm here, can I give me gifts of tripcasters and stuff? Now I feel like I feel like I have to hit these. Steal the soul. This trek's been the most fun I've had in ages. Wait, up there? I love their phrases. They're so great. There, the workbench. Yeah. Also, friends. Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've gotta go, <laughs> go. With our blessing. Always. He reminds me of Rost. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? <laughs> I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after <laughs> Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part. Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say <laughs> nanny, but I like your version better. Oh. <laughs> I never oh pictured gosh, you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have <gasps> no idea. <laughs> oh dear. I knew. Uh, we were not talking about Edaman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I agree. Children. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. They are so cute. These two. They're adorable. I actually really like it a lot. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it Aww. that he wanted Aww. to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a terrible liar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the fact that he's like, inside you're as soft as a soap pillow. Like, that was just asking for it. She was like, mm hmm. <laughs> she was like, yep, you left that one wide open for me. <laughs> Didn't even have to do any work. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This is so awkward. Like, I love it. It's what 
would kind of actually happen in these situations. And if you let it go too long, my secondhand anxiety is going to get the best of me. Well, I know, I know, you're out. Go away with She's you. She's so bad at this. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. They are adorable. What a good, like, opposites attract couple. Like, I'm so pleased, honestly. <laughs> they both deserve a little happiness. Um, oh boy. Master Override. So I got the Master Override back and a new module that enables the buildup and release of kinetic energy. Did I? Am I doing it? Cool. Okay. Master Override installed. Plus, something new to store up and stop release. That's energy. weird. Uh, I don't like this. Resonator. Should help in a fight. Like, the quest is done, but like it kind of hangs out there for a bit, and it's. I don't like it very much. <laughs> um, was there anybody else, though? Anybody? I guess I only saw those. Those. Yeah, okay, I did it. I only saw those few friends, so that makes sense. And I can't get out. I'm stuck here. How did we even get up here? It's gotta be- this is so weird for- like, truly. Oh, hey. Um... Like, truly, like, having friends to, like, say goodbye to and stuff has to be- Oh, we were- Oh, no, okay. It has to be, like, an odd thing. She doesn't- she doesn't really know how to do it, you know? Like, saying goodbyes and stuff like that. She's like, oh, like, having a place to return to, like, with people waiting for her. Like, it's different. Like, Rost was different, right? But it's, like, all of these new people, it's gotta be a strange experience. Anyway, I'm gonna stop this video here. Um, and if you hear me get quieter in the next videos, it's because my co-workers have returned, I'm pretty sure, um, to our hotel that we're all living in. So, I need to be quiet. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. And to Christopher, my tree tier patron, thank you so, so much for your support. You're the super bestest. I super duper appreciate it. Um, and thank you all so much for watching, everybody for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.